from Wilmington, Delaware, I bring to you A.J. English, six foot three hundred and ninety nine pounds from Virginia Union coming to you out of Howard High School. Went on and had an NBA career with the Washington Bullets. He went to Virginia Union. That's right. HBCU, Virginia Union. And man, oh man, did he shine. Six, three and a half shooting guard. Left-hander could put it in the hole. I'm talking about A.J. English. There's been a lot of players, but this one is different from any other. As he tells his story, he had one thing in mind when he got to the league. He knew that he belonged. So as you look at Bernard King, man, oh man, there's another player playing with him from the HBCU. And man, when you get a chance to shine. And the league is the league. It's the best of the best. You just got to rise on up to the top, and that's what A.J. English does. And when you're coming out of a small school, you got to understand this is Vincent Bundy. This is John Williams and Money Mike. And we are the HBCU Originals and we bringing it to you. But when it comes to HBCU basketball, AJ English, West Unsell, we talking about big house games. He played on the USA Olympic and dominated in the game. Ain't but one man that could do it like he could out of the HBCU. We talking about A.J. English. This is HBCU Originals, and he stood tall against the man, Michael Jordan. He played him, played him straight up, and game equals game when you come from the concrete jungle. And that's what A.J. English did. This is HBCU Originals. Vincent Bundy, John Williams, and I'm Money Mike. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing it to you. And to the HBCU family, the HBCU graduates, and also to the HBCU students, I want you to dream big. Because A.J. English said, I knew I belonged. This is HBCU Originals, Vincent Bundy, John Williams, and of course myself, Money Mike. We'll see you soon.